Let's talk about all the variables dealing with correlation and regression. So regression, we're going to be dealing with two quantitative variables, x and y, OK? Where x is known as the explanatory variable, and y is known as the response variable. So what we're dealing with overall is we're dealing with an input and an output. We're dealing with an independent variable and a dependent variable overall. And you can be asked questions with this, like which one is the explanatory, which one is the response? For example, if they ask you something about the relationship um, between, let's say, you know, you're getting um, you know, a moped or a scooter, or something between a scooter's um, age and the price. So you may be asked, you know, which one would be the explanatory, which one would be the response? And the way to consider it is which one explains the outcome. The X explains the response Y. So in this case, would age explain price or would price explain age? It would make more sense that the X, the explanatory is going to be age and the response is going to be price in this case. So that's with X and Y. Then we take it up a notch here with other variables. You're going to see X bar, Y bar, S of X and S of Y. And this goes back to our summary statistics. X bar and Y bar, of course, are going to be your means. So your average for X, your average for Y. S of X and S of Y are going to be your standard deviations for X and Y, respectively. And these are going to be used to calculate A and B. Now, what's A and B? A is going to be your intercept or Y intercept, and B is going to be your slope. The equation for A is going to be y bar minus b x bar. So you'll notice that you actually need the slope to find the y intercept. And for b, it's going to be r s of y over s of x. So let's talk about those. So again, a is going to be your intercept. An intercept in general is when x equals 0. To interpret, because you're going to be asked to interpret these, is you're going to say when x equals 0, y is expected to be a but it has to make sense. It has to make sense in the real world. So this is one of the very few questions where you actually have to consider life and go, okay, does this actually make sense to me? B is gonna be slope. And the way I do slope is throughout any of the stats courses I've ever worked with. Slope, if it's B, put it over one, make it Y over X, and then say when X goes up by one unit, Y is expected to go uh, to change by B units, something to that effect. Now, we put this together and we got our equation Y hat equals A plus BX. This is not your whole MX plus B, okay? They change it in stats. So A again is your Y intercept and B is now your slope and we have the equation of our line. Now you're looking at this going, well, what's Y hat? So you have Y and you have Y hat. Y is known as your observed value. Your observed, your actual value for Y. Y hat is gonna be what's predicted for your value for Y. And so what actually happens versus what's predicted, the difference between that is actually called residual. And the letter for residual is gonna be E, which is equal to Y hat, or excuse me, Y minus Y hat. Or you might just see it as, said as residual is equal to observed y minus predicted y. Lastly, there is one other variable back in the other, other slide there, r, OK? So lastly, let's talk about r. r is known as the correlation coefficient, OK? It measures the strength and direction between two quantitative variables, OK? It's between negative 1 and 1 inclusive, meaning it can, it can be 1, it can be negative 1. The closer it is to negative 1 or 1, the stronger the relationship is. The closer it is to 0, the weaker the relationship is going to be overall. Um, and then R has the same sign as the slope. So if there's a positive relationship, the slope and R are positive. If there's a negative relationship, the slope and R are negative, but R is not equal to the slope. Remember that. And then lastly, if you take R and you square it, you get, well, hmm, R squared, okay? Which can be capital or lowercase, it doesn't matter. And R squared is actually known as the coefficient of determination.
okay? The interpretation of it is the percent of variation in Y that is explained by X. So the very first thing I talked about, you know, age and price, we said that in our case, our explanatory is age, our response is price. So our X is age, our Y is price. And let's say your R squared was 80%. So 80% of the variation in price could be explained by age is one way to explain what R squared would be. So between R squared and R, dealing with the equation of the line and its interpretations, and all the other variables, this is the running list of variables you need to know for correlation and regression.